Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Now remember a mixed number is where your number has a whole part, this three here, and a fractional part, this half here. Now one strategy is just to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions first. So let's try that. So if we have, for example, three and a half plus two and two thirds, if we convert these to improper fractions, remember we do the whole part times the denominator, that's six, and add the numerator, that's seven. So remember, times those together and then add those together. And I cover that in a separate video. So three times two plus one is seven. So it's seven over, and we keep the same denominator. So it's seven over two. Let's do the same here. We multiply the two and the three together and add the two. So two times three is six plus the two is eight, so it's eight over, and then we keep the same denominator. And then we do what we usually do to add fractions. We need to have a consistent denominator, and we ask ourselves, what do two and three both go into? Well, they both go into six. That's a common multiple. So we're gonna make each of them over six. Now, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do the same to the top. So if two has become six, you've multiplied by three, then you also need to multiply the seven by three to get 21. We learned that in the video about equivalent fractions. And then this three is being multiplied by two to get to the six, and therefore I also need to multiply the eight by two, which becomes 16. That allows me to then add these fractions together. So we've got 21 six plus 16 six, that's going to be 41 six. So remember, if we have the same denominator, we can just add the numerators. And we could convert this number back into a mixed number. Now the problem with these other two examples is that I've purposely made the whole part of each of these mixed numbers really big to make it difficult to convert them into improper fractions because the numerator is going to be absolutely huge if I was to do 103 times 5 plus 4. So let's try and do another method. What we could do here is just to add the whole parts and add the fractional parts. So this is method two. You just separately add the whole parts and add the fractional parts and put them together. So if we add the whole parts, 103 plus 22 is just going to be 125. And we also need to add the four fifths and the quarter. So if I just do that on the side, four fifths plus a quarter now, the quick way to add fractions is you multiply the denominators, so five times four is 20, cross multiply the numerators, so the four gets multiplied by the four, is 16 plus one times five is five, 16 plus five is 21. And if you can't remember that method, just look at my video on adding fractions. Or you can just use this method we use down here. So we added the fractional parts and they came to 21 twentieths, so we got 21 twentieths. Now, the problem here, which you might have spotted, is that you can't have a mixed number involving an improper fraction here. So, let's think, we've got 21 twentieths, that's one and a twentieth. So, that one, we carry onto this 125, we get an extra one here, so it's 126, and then we've still just got that one twentieth left. And now, we've got the right answer. What about part C? We've got 97 and a third minus 42 and a half. Now we could use method two, but we subtract instead. So we can subtract the whole parts and subtract the fractional parts. Now the problem is, is that we can't do a third minus a half because half is bigger than a third without having a negative number. Now the clever thing here is to basically borrow a whole and convert it into some extra thirds. So if we sacrifice a whole here, and that goes down to 96, we've got a whole extra to play with in the fractional part. So we've got an extra whole. How many extra thirds is that? Well, there's three thirds in a whole. So we get three extra thirds, and that goes up to four thirds. And now we can use this method too of just subtracting the whole parts and subtracting the fractional parts. So, we can do 96 minus 42, that's going to be 54. And we can do 4 thirds minus a half. So if I do that over here, 
Again, we can use my quick way of doing this. You multiply the denominators, which is 6, and you cross-multiply the numerators. So the 4 gets multiplied by the 2, which is 8, and the 1 gets times by the 3, so we're minusing 3. That is 5, 6. So we get 5, 6 here, and that's a mixed number, and that's not an improper fraction or anything, so we are done.